everybody and welcome back to the second part of my Christmas gift guide. You all know I love Christmas. I love Christmas. So I am so excited to bring you this stocking fillers gift guide. We're going to be going through stocking fillers appropriate for babies and toddlers. I'm going to alternate between the two. So we'll go baby, toddler, baby, toddler through the video. If you have any other ideas, then please do let me know in the comments down below because it will be useful for me, but also for everybody that's watching this video. Just before we start going through what I've got here, I do want to add that as well as putting these things in stockings, I do like to put in some edible treats as well. Normally actually oranges, they're a great thing to put in stockings, they're the perfect size and they take a little while to eat, which is good, especially if you've got other people opening stockings at the same time, because it just gives your baby or toddler something to do while they're waiting for their turn again. The other top tip I would give you is to wrap everything individually. I will show you as I'm going through, but a lot of these things are in the packets. So my advice would be to take things out of the packets, wrap them individually, because not only does it mean that it seems like more presents and there's more to open, but it's easier easier for your little one to access and just get into it and start playing or looking straight away. Now, if any of you watched my Shop With Me video at TK Maxx and HomeSense, then you will have seen that I picked up these little guys. They are individual board books. I thought they were so cute because they're Arctic animals. I'm actually going to get them out to show you because, like I said, I will be wrapping these individually, not as a set. So these were $4.99 from HomeSense. It's a really great place to go and look for toys and gifts. I know sadly at the moment we can't, but hopefully you'll be able to soon. So they just look like this. I've not actually even seen what they look like inside. Oh, lovely. So just little stories inside with nice pictures and babies obviously really benefit from having board books so they can turn the pages themselves. The next idea is something for toddlers and it's actually something that I have for Finley's stocking. He's not a toddler, he's a preschooler technically but the toys are the same really. So even Rupert could play with this because it's nice and chunky. This one actually came from a secondhand shop. I got it ages ago. I would say that thrifting and charity shops are really great places to look for Christmas presents for your little ones. Facebook Marketplace as well. Last year we got Finley a rocking horse for Christmas from Facebook Marketplace. It's so lovely and I paid 15 pounds for it. It's a great way to save money and also to save the planet too. This one though I know is Little Town and that is the Morrisons brand. Morrisons do really great wooden toys for little ones, so it's definitely worth having a look in there to see if there's anything that would suit your little one. Would you like me to do a shop with me at the supermarkets for Christmas gifts? If you would, then let me know in the comments down below and give this video a like so I know to make that video for you. So we've just got this little truck for Finley. If you know him at all, he's absolutely vehicle obsessed, so this will fit nicely into his collection. I think I am actually also going to get him some matchbox little, are they called matchbox? Not matchsticks, matchbox, cars, the Hot Wheels ones, the small ones, because he's really into die cast metal cars now. So I think I may get him some of those to pop into his stocking for things to open as well. On to baby gifts again, and it's sensory toys. So I've got a couple here to show you. Now, in all honesty, these are not things that we've bought for Christmas. These are things that we already own, but I wanted to show them to you because they're just really great for stocking fillers. They're literally the perfect size, really inexpensive to buy as well. You can get them on most sites. Amazon sell them. Lots of baby sensory box companies sell little gifts like this as well. So we've just got a little rattle here and a ball. You probably can't see very well because of the light, but this one does flash and light up as well, which is really really entertaining for little ones. I like this one too because it's rubbery, so nice for them to be able to chew on. These are really fun to put in stockings because of course babies can have a look inside and you don't have to wrap them up necessarily, but babies can look inside and see what's flashing in there and then root around for that object. It's something worth bearing in mind actually, whether you want to wrap up the presents for your baby's stocking. If you have a younger baby, you may just want to place the items into the stocking without wrapping them. The babies don't care and it will be a lot easier for them to access things. The next item we have for your toddler or preschoolers stocking is actually something that was kindly gifted to us 
by a lovely friend, Sarah, and she owns a company called Child Led Play, and she makes this fantastic, oh, I should probably leave the lid on actually so you can see the lovely label. She makes fantastic Play-Doh and loose parts kits for little ones. So this one, I believe, is the Snowman Christmassy Play-Doh. We've not obviously played with this yet because I'm saving it for Christmas. The light's so bright there that I don't know how well you can see it, but it's really, oh, there you go. It's really beautiful and shimmery Play-Doh. And this Play-Doh is all completely natural and made with food-based ingredients. In fact, I can see the ingredients on the back here and they're perfectly safe, really nice because they're non-toxic and of course you're supporting a small business as well if you buy things like this and she sent us a lovely forest green one as well. Oh, it smells really good for Christmas tree play or whatever else we want to use it for. And then we also got a few different loose parts with these. I believe she sent us some little acorns, some little Christmas acorns and we've got a little snowman here as well this is from sarah's stuffing stocking stuffer collection so she actually makes these perfectly to fit into stockings really nice and christmasy themed although not everything is christmas themed um, and then in here i've really no idea how i'm going to show this to you you've also got some beautiful shiny little balls to put on your Christmas tree that you make out of the green play-doh how nice is that such a fun idea these would fit perfectly into a stocking they're a really really good price point or oh, the other thing I should mention as well is that they are CE tested which is something that you don't get with all products for children especially not those ones that you buy from places like Etsy it is always worth bearing in mind that things have been safety tested for use with children. Okay, let's move on then to another baby item for stockings. This one is another one that I picked up on that HomeSense TK Maxx shopping trip. And it's one of these barbells. I'm going to get it out of the box because you can't really see very well with the sticker on the front. Here we are. So in fact, I'm a little bit surprised because I did think this was wooden because it does definitely look wooden on the picture. <laughs> Never mind. So this is a plastic barbell, but the idea is that you can give your baby something like this as a toy in their stocking. This is obviously the perfect size to fit in. Really nice for them to be able to hold in their hands. It actually feels really good in your hand makes a nice noise and the best thing about it or one of the best things about it is that it's got these that spin so your baby can have a go at spinning things babies and toddlers love to spin things also great colors because babies love black and white as we know but they also love red that's one of the first colors that they can see it properly after they start focusing on different colors other than black and white. This was $6.99. The next thing and one of my favorite things to put into stockings for older children are these magazines. Did you ever get magazines in your stockings when you were a child? I did. In fact, I still put magazines in stockings for people. I make stockings for children and adults alike in my family and magazines are one of my favourite things to put in for adults too. So I think what I'm going to do is take this front part off and I may even wrap these things individually to give to Finley. To be honest, I don't rate magazine toys. Obviously they're fun for kids. They are cheap plastic though, aren't they? So we generally throw them away after a while. But the magazine itself is great because it has colouring activities and lots of other things in there. You could, of course, get a Christmas themed magazine if you wanted to. And this is great to entertain your child on Christmas morning as well if they just need something to do. And they're a bit televisioned out or overwhelmed with what's going on around them. Having some quiet time with the magazine is a really good idea. This next stocking filler is something that I'm so pleased with. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen me talk about this before because I posted about it when I first ordered it months ago and then again when it came. And this is special because we also have one for Finley and it is this. It's Rupert's 
own bauble from the handmade christmas company this company sell beautiful gifts not only do we have baubles for both the boys but we do have christmas sacks as well to put presents in with both their names on they specialize in doing personalized things they come in so many different colours and variations. This is totally not sponsored or gifted, by the way. I just love them. So I kept it in its box for now. Um, and actually, Finley's is still in its box because that's how we store it when it's not Christmas. So it's definitely worth keeping hold of the box. This has got loads of glitter in, so I'm going to get glitter everywhere now. Let me pull it out to show you. It comes with its own velvet strap, which I think is really nice. And I chose this white glitter with the red writing on. I just like the traditional feel. You can get different fonts as well. And this matches the one that Finley has. So now both boys have the same, which I just think is really special. I also got this for Finley's first Christmas. He was actually only a few months old when it was his first Christmas. This is going to be Rupert's first Christmas, although he will be three days off being one year old, so slightly different ages. So the next item I wanted to share with you has also been kindly gifted, and I'm really, really excited to share this with you because it's been gifted by one of you, the lovely mums in our community. Laura reached out to me a little while ago. She is a mum just like us, and she has decided to branch out on her own and start her own business after having her baby and she makes these gorgeous wooden spoons so she kindly sent these to us for us to have a look at but I really wanted to share you with them in this Christmas gift guide because I just thought that they were perfect when they arrived they, I love them so much she does lots of different designs and I will link her details down below along with everything else but I chose these because Finley really loves a good nursery rhyme. So my idea with these wooden spoons is that he can play with them obviously on his own to do a little bit of play acting with, but I really like the idea of storing them in a pot or a bag and pulling one out one at a time, looking at the picture and then singing the song that goes with the picture. So we've got row, row, row your boat, Humpty Dumpty, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I think that one's Incy Wincy Spider, yes, and then Bar Bar Black Sheep. And wouldn't these just be perfect sticking out the top of a stocking on Christmas Day morning? I think that they're perfect and I can't wait for Finley to be able to start playing with them. Next up for babies, and it's something else from that, that same shopping trip when basically I got everything for the boys for Christmas. I told you in that video, didn't I? I was going to show you everything. They are these rubber ducks. Now, this may seem a little bit odd because they're actually, I think, Easter themed. <laughs> this one is in an egg and this one is dressed as a sheep. But Rupert absolutely loves rubber ducks. He really thinks they're so great to play with. He loves squeaking things. So they're perfect for that. Obviously, you could use them in the bath if you want to. I'm not sure whether we will because I've talked about this before, but if things have holes in the bottom, it's not generally a great idea to use them in the bath because they can collect mold and mildew and then just go a bit nasty. If you've got a glue gun, you can put a little bead of glue in there to stop them doing that. So I may do that, but I think that he probably will just like playing with these and squeezing them with his hands. These are from Infantino, which is a brand that you can get in lots of different places. So I will try and find them and link them down below for you if you wanted something similar to this. My next idea is actually something that's suitable for babies or toddlers and it is something along these lines. Now this was actually gifted to Finley for his birthday from his grandparents but I wanted to show it you because I thought it would make a really great idea for stocking fillers or bigger gift, Christmas gifts as well, because of course you don't need to keep these things inside the wooden case. I will find out where this came from and let you know, but the idea would be that you would take the individual animals out and wrap them separately and then your child can go through their stocking unwrapping the different safari animals or farm animals if you've got that theme and then build a little collection as they go through which I just think is such 
a special idea and something that children, especially older children, will really enjoy. But because these are so nice and chunky and wooden, they would suit babies as well. Thanks so much for watching the second part in my Christmas gift guide. Stay tuned because I have two more to come, both smaller gifts for under the tree and then some big ticket items as well. I will be sharing with you all the big ticket items that we have got for the boys this year and there are some good ones. There's only two weeks to go until Advent, so if you still need Advent calendar ideas, then click onto this video up here to watch my pick of the very best. Or if you've already seen that one, then why not watch this one? I think that should interest you.